So now that we have our model saved, um, and it's actually accessible via RESTful API, let's simulate an end-to-end -end flow and uh, to see how the model would actually perform. Normally, instead of simulating data, we would actually have all the sensors coming in um, and being available through one of the processors. But what we'll have in here instead is we'll simulate the data in, in this processor. Uh, let's take a look uh, at the configuration. As you can see in the properties, it's just a Python code. And if I expand this, it's just simulating and randomly uh, creating the different uh, output data for us. Uh, the data that we've used, the features that you're already uh, accustomed to. And uh, what we then do is we update the attributes. Um, and this is the access token that we're going to be using. This is, uh, again, the Barrett token that needs to uh, be uh, up updated uh, every 24 hours. Of course, this could be automated. So let me go back to my notebook um, and actually grab the token over here. So this is my access token. Let me copy uh, this one in this processor over here. All right, so now I have my token. Let me save this and apply. And the next step over here is the uh, actual execute script. And this is where the actual call takes place to the RESTful endpoint of the actual model. So in the previous processor, we have uh, the berry token. And over here, as you can see, this is the familiar curl, uh, uh, curl post uh, that is being made uh, right over here with all the different inputs. So what happens is that basically uh, it, it, it takes the uh, output of the model prediction and then uh, uses it to route on the attribute. So uh, basically what happens is, you know, if the prediction equals Y or, or yes, a violation has occurred, um, then we're uh, predicting one flow, uh, basically going over here uh, through this, this, uh, this put temporary file that a violation has occurred. In this case, we're just saving locally um, where that is installed in this temporary directory. And of course, there's another, um, uh, there's another flow uh, to another file where uh, the output is normal. So what will happen then is, let's actually get this started. Uh, so I've selected all of these. So now we have a flow start. The simulation has started. What will happen is we'll have an entire flow of, you know, um, simulating all the data uh, using the, uh, the the new token and then executing the script, basically executing a, a RESTful API call uh, via this one, and then making a prediction of where this data should end up. And so, if a violation would occur, we would be um, we would be putting this data into this temporary file over here. Or if if the violation has not occurred, we would be putting in this file. And of course, this could be attached to a series of dashboards. This could be pushed to a GFS. Um, could, this could be pushed to 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 a Kafka topic and so forth. And this could be analyzed further. But for this um, for this demo, this is a um, an, a very basic flow with simulated to see how the model actually behaves. Um, and we, of course, we could speed this up. Um, but right now, as you can see already, detecting some potential violations over here. Uh, this is queued, uh, and eventually this will be merged in contact and I'll put it to the file. So with that, you'll have seen uh, the entire end-to-end -end flow um, of, uh, of bringing all the data uh, or simulating all the data and then pushing it through uh, these different uh, flow channels. Uh, and you've also seen um, a, a, a notebook end-to-end -end built in the uh, DSX platform. So I hope you've enjoyed this a lot uh, and stay tuned to our future videos.